so you just downloaded another app. It's fine, right? It's just one more. Then, a few months later, you open your phone and realize you have six meditation apps, four calendar apps, and a flashlight app that somehow wants access to your camera, location, and blood type. But here's the thing. When you download too many apps, your phone doesn't just look messy. It starts living a double life. Because behind every cute little icon is a digital parasite quietly plotting your phone's downfall. Let's talk about what really happens when your phone becomes an app museum. Number one, your storage becomes a junkyard. Every app you install takes up storage space, not just for the app itself, but for something far worse, cached data. Think of cache as leftover fries in a bag. One or two apps doing it? No big deal, a hundred apps? Now your phone's hoarding stale fries in every corner. Apps like Instagram, TikTok, or Spotify can quietly build up gigabytes of cache from saved photos, videos, and temporary files. Even when you delete an app, fragments often stay behind, like ghosts haunting your storage. This means less space for photos, videos, or that crucial update your phone keeps begging for. And when your storage gets full, your phone slows down dramatically because it needs free space to process new data. No space means your phone's brain can't think straight. So, yes, technically your phone can run out of thoughts. Number two, your RAM goes on strike. RAM, random access memory, is what lets your phone multitask. It's like short-term memory. When you open an app, it lives in RAM for quick access. But when you have too many apps installed, many of them sneak into the background and stay there. Even if you're not using them, they're silently sipping RAM, checking for updates, syncing notifications, or watching you browse memes. The result? Your phone slows down, freezes, or starts lagging like it's trying to render a PowerPoint presentation in 4K. The more apps you have, the more competition there is for memory. It's like 100 people trying to use one microwave. Number three, your battery becomes the real victim. Here's the secret truth. Even when you're not using an app, it's using you. Most apps don't go to sleep when you close them. They keep doing stuff in the background, checking your location, syncing notifications, collecting usage data, aka digital gossip about you. All of that drains battery life faster than you think. So if your phone dies by lunchtime, it's not your fault. It's because your free emoji keyboard app is busy contacting 17 servers in three countries for reasons no one understands. Number four, your privacy slowly disappears. Every time you install an app, you give it permissions, access to your contacts, camera, microphone, location, or even other apps. One app knowing your location? Fine. 50 apps knowing your location? Congratulations, you're now a community project. This data is often shared or sold between companies, advertisers, and sometimes even data brokers you've never heard of. So yes, that flashlight app from 2014 might still know where you live. Worse, the more apps you install, the higher your chance of installing a malicious one, disguised as a calculator, but secretly recording your data. Your phone basically turns into a mall where everyone's trying to sell your personal information behind your back. Number five. Your phone becomes emotionally unstable, software edition. Every new app comes with new background processes, notifications, and system hooks, and all of them compete for your phone's attention. Eventually, updates start failing, apps crash, and you get weird bugs like your wallpaper resetting or your phone randomly restarting. In short, your operating system starts panicking. It's like inviting too many guests to a dinner party. Everyone's talking, no one's eating, and your phone's CPU is in the corner quietly crying. Number six, updates become a nightmare. When your storage is full and your system overloaded, your phone starts refusing updates, both app updates and system updates. This is bad for two reasons. You miss security patches, leaving your phone vulnerable. You get outdated apps that crash more often than Windows XP. It's like trying to teach an old dog new tricks except the dog is 400 apps deep and doesn't even know its own name anymore. Number seven, notifications become chaos. When you have 200 apps, you're not living in a notification system anymore. You're living in a slot machine. Every few seconds, something pings, 
an update, a deal, a reminder, or a random check your daily reward message. Your attention span dissolves, your battery melts, and your phone becomes less of a tool and more of a needy child demanding attention 24-7. Studies even show that constant phone notifications trigger stress responses similar to anxiety, meaning your phone clutter can literally affect your mental health. So, yeah, maybe those 15 different weather apps weren't worth it. Number 8. Your phone's lifespan shortens. Every app adds more wear on your phone's RAM, CPU, and storage, meaning your hardware is working harder, for longer, more often. That heat? That's your phone's internal components wearing down faster. That lag? That's your system begging for mercy. Over time, constant background processes can even cause flash memory degradation, reducing how long your storage chips last. Translation? The more clutter you download, the sooner your phone joins the great smartphone afterlife. Number nine, what you can actually do. All right, doom and gloom aside, here's how to fix it. Audit your apps monthly. If you haven't used it in 30 days, delete it. Check permissions. Some apps don't need what they ask for, like why does a note-taking app need your location? Clear cache regularly. Think of it as cleaning digital dust. Limit background activity. Most phones let you stop certain apps from running in the background. Use web versions. Many services like Reddit, Twitter, or even banking can be used in your browser. No need for another data-hungry app. And most importantly, don't download every top 10 must-have app list from YouTube. So what really happens when you download too many apps? Your storage fills up, your RAM dies of exhaustion, your battery gets drained, your privacy evaporates, and your phone slowly turns into a digital retirement home. Remember. Less is more, especially when more means 47 apps all trying to send you push notifications at the same time. So maybe next time you see that, try our new AI wallpaper app, just don't. Because sometimes the most powerful thing you can download is self-control.